of my brother. I like it. It's kind of from Hollywood to write another another movie about the second coming of the sun, unlikely. That should be the name of the su- of the movie. It should be a comedy. Write it up. I also think that there should be a movie called The Rosedale Rosedale Fuckers, which are a a group of guys that are struggling, struggling in the economy, right? And one guy, he wants to get married, but he can't afford it. So him and his two buddies start this, like, uh, thing where they go for 50, 60 plus for money. I think there should be a movie. Yeah, no, 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 no. I've got a movie. I no, I got a movie. I got a movie. I think there should be a movie about a schizophrenic from the Cam H, and he dresses as a Cobra Trooper from G.I. Joe, and then he teams up with a guy who thinks he's God, and they go on a road trip. Oh, that would be cool, too. <laughs> Wolfman. Stu, can you pass your mic to Wolfman? See, it has an idea for me. Yeah. See, I've always wanted to do one where you get, like, a group of Muslim kids, right? <laughs> They're all from, like, different walks of life. You got, like, you know, the fashionable girl and the jock and everything, right? So... They're at the mosque, right? And then they get in total shit, right, from the caliph because he finds out that they were eating, you know, while the sun was out during Ramadan, right? So then they're, like, in detention, and you call it the Break Fast Club, you know? <laughs> and then the girl, like, you know, there's that scene, like, the I- Ali Sheedy kind of girl, and she's, like, dumping, like, the dandruff all over that drawing that she did, and everybody freaks out, and she's like, what? It's just dandruff. And they're like, no, but you're not wearing your scarf, that kind of thing. Well, I, I, had, I had a similar idea for a movie, Wolfman. Yeah. I had an idea for a movie where there was a mosque, yeah. and there was a whole society, a whole village of, uh, of, of Muslim people yeah, we're totally who, who went into the mosque to avoid this, uh, this, this plague that was actually infiltrating their, their, their village. And, and the, the, of course, the fear of this plague would, would kill these individuals and, and who rightfully wouldn't take refuge in a holy building. But lo and behold, it got in, and it, and it really it, it killed every one of them. And I'm thinking of calling it the uh, Mosque of the Red Death. That's... <laughs> You're supposed to be... <laughs> I know. I got one. I think that they should, like, do Greece all over again, right? right? Except, yeah. except they should change it around yeah. so that it's like all the math and chess geeks yeah. are like the T-birds, you know, and Sandy is like this goth girl, right? You know? Yeah, so like, you know, so when they're making, the yeah, they're having like a whole, a whole slumber party, I played you know, here. and she comes out and they're making fun of her, they've got like eyeliner and they're all like, love will tear us apart again, and at the end, right, so see like Sandy dresses up as like, you know, one of like the geeky kids, right, and she's all like, dun, 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 and then the guy comes out and sees her and is like, holy smoke, and he's like, I get chills from multiplying, as well as adding, subtracting, and dividing. You make me feel like a new invention, like a Manitrek convention. <laughs> and then she's like, you better shape up, because I need a man. Who could work for Microsoft? You better shape up, because I need a man. Who thinks I'm hotter than Laura Croft? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. That kind of thing, right? And they can have, like, instead of having, like, a drag race, they're just, like, doing, like, calculus against each other and throwing racers and stuff. I got a better idea for a movie. What? It takes place in Greece, and it's dark. It's at night. It's a a horror movie. It might scare you, yeah. And there's a vampire bat, and the vampire bat actually bites a cow and therefore makes this, the okay, cow this a movie. vampire. You're stealing my idea. No, you're stealing my idea. No, no, you're stealing no, my idea. I came up with Suvlokula. I came up with Suvlokula. I came up with Suvlokula. You liar. So then if you came up with Suvlokula, how do you kill Suvlokula? With uh, garlic salt. <laughs> and uh, and uh, uh, washing his plate with sunlight liquid. <laughs> <laughs> See? Which is exactly how I wrote it before you try to steal this shit. So don't try and do it again, I'll get freaking lawyers on you. <laughs> and by the way, okay, by the way, I just want to say this right here, right here on the Dave and Chuck show. How 
How long have I known you? Five too freaking years. Too long. That's right, too long. Five years ago, yeah. first time I met you, you promised you'd build me a bride, That's and you still have And you've seen me go That's through how many yeah. brides myself. I know, I know. You're freaking walking around like you're Mr. Alfalfa male, or, you know, like, <laughs> you're that huge heifer guy, or whatever, in California. <laughs> And, and like me, like I've got to settle for like watching like the intro to that 70s show and see when Donna grabs the dashboard and that's all I have! It's not fair! Well, I've Damn seen it. you with that, you know, girl that you've been walking around town with. You I don't want to even talk about her, okay? We're through. Like all she does is she just smothers me all the time. Well, ask her to give you a bit of space. I do, but, you know, through the pillow it sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, you have that nice little goth emo girl that I see you hanging around with once in a while over at yep, the... Yeah, the goth emo girl, she's just a friend. She's got a boyfriend. She's oh, she a, there's nothing going on well, there. Maybe yeah. I can break them up. I'm known for doing stuff no. like that. Oh, I mean, she's cute. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, I wouldn't kick her out of bed for cutting with She likes you. know what I'm saying. <laughs> 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 but no. I gotta be telling. up front with you, man. I'm, I'm starting to not, like, believe this whole wolf man thing going on here. I, I don't think you're really a werewolf. A, it's the day. So? B, the I have in a regular cycle. Okay. You know how it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> B, 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 it, the full moon was three nights ago. And three, cycle, and yes. most importantly, yes. those are rubber teeth. They're not real. They're fake. You are not what a wolf. What the hell is that? You are a anything. Greek guy in a costume. I'm a Greek guy, but I'm a real wolf, man. The teeth don't matter. Sure, they do. There they are. Then they're not, real, not a real werewolf. That means nothing. My grandmother had fake teeth. I never told her she wasn't a real grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. I'm looking at it right here, and it's not funny. That is too much. Well, my idea for a movie was uh, Stu Gallagher, he tripped and hit his head on the drum kit, okay? And he went into a, like a, a coma dream, right? And we were doing Dave and Chuck show in space. <laughs> This is your idea. <laughs> yeah, hey, well, you know what? We're actually running out of time. Uh, Mr. do you have any shows coming up that we can see? Yes, in fact, I do. I have a show coming up at the Cadillac Lounge on the 21st. It's called the uh, uh, the uh, Hard Booze and Tattoos. I just opened a tattoo shop, like I stated, Sunnyside Tattoos. The sideshow set up in there. It's a benefit for the shop. I pay, put my life savings into it, so I still need to come where up with some it? cash. And, and then we have it's it's at the Cadillac Lounge at uh, no, uh, twelve thirty-seven. No, where's, where's the uh, fifteen sixty-eight Queen Street, sixteen fifty-eight. Sorry, it's Queen and Treller. And then I have yeah, another show coming up. Pretty cool show yeah, coming up tonight. Oh, we do have a show we tonight. We have a show tonight. That's right, we do have a show tonight. <laughs> we're at Book Handies, we're doing, it's a heavy metal theme show. That's it's like right. a fashion show with burlesque and circus performers That's and vaudeville right. performers. Where? It's at Good Handies at, Good Handies. at 120 Church, Church Street. Street. And it's basically what it is. It's the metal star fashion show. There's a lady, there's a gal called Mila Star in town, and she makes this clothing that, that would just make you stand out from the crowd, Spinal Tap would wear this stuff, you know? And it's pretty awesome, so everybody's going to be wearing outfits from, made by her, and we're going to have Mysterian and myself and burlesque dancers. A girl's going to do like an Iggy Pop sort of burlesque theme routine. Iggy Pop, but a girl stripping. It's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, that's tonight. And then April 2nd, we're going to be at the Comedy Bar doing coming. a ghost show, a ghost seance live on stage. Mm -hmm. be pretty cool. We're going to resurrect Heath Ledger. And they're remaking Weekend of Burnies. You know what? Comedy Bar has Burning. fucking killer coleslaw. Huh? Do, you, do you have like a <laughs> website? Okay. Do I have a website? Where people can find Yes. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> sexoffendersofcanada.com. No, it's, it's uh, mysteriontheminereader.com. Do you spell that? I, I can spell it, yes. Yes, you it? Yeah, 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 yeah. M Y S T E R I O N T H E M I N D R E A D E R dot C O M. Okay. We know the future generation is going to get it. Quick question, Wolfman. Yes. Okay. Where's all the wolf women? <laughs> Give him the mic. Ask, still ask him. I don't know. I mean, he said he was going to make it. There, there is no wolf man. I'm taking you to see the hairy honeys. 
That's true. That's true. Sure. We did go see the Harry Honeys, but we already talked about that. that. That's like on the website right now. I told everybody what happens at the Harry Honeys party stays at the Harry Honeys right. party. Maybe you should take Stu sometime to the Harry Honeys party. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> 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 